Hey everybody, Matumbo here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are doing a little something different. Well, as you can see on our on our screen here, we have, you know, one point whatever million gems. 1.3. Um, obviously, this is not not our our real account. So this is going to be due thanks to Wizards of the Coast for giving some of the content creators, a lot of the content creators, access to fully stocked accounts in order to do the Zendikar early release event. Uh, this is an event that comes out every, uh, pretty much every time a set comes out, um, a day or two before the set releases, they allow um, the, some of the content creators that apply to have access to the account so they can really preview the cards, play with them, um, just have some fun, show the, show the cards off. And that's what we're doing today. And what we did is we decided to do a premiere draft for Zendikar Rising and we're going to draft we're going to watch the picks each picks uh each pick that we take as we talk to our uh to our chat here as we do our twitch stream um and we're going to just see how we do we had a you know don't want to uh really spoil it but we did have a really really good run and we got some really good picks i think our deck came together really really well and yeah, we're going to try out some limited here on the channel and not historic, but we'll be right back to historic in the next day or two. But I wanted to drop this. want to see if you guys enjoy some limited content. And uh, yeah, so let's throw this together. Let's draft. Let's see what happens. And we will see you guys at the end of the video for the wrap up. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Join the Discord. Hey, third person, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. That's high praise. So we could go for this Archpriest. Let's see. Let's see who we're drafting with. Nobody that I know. Been a fan of the YouTube channel for quite a while. Love your humor and chill out too. Well, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. So I think we are going to take this Archpriest. Let's take a look here. Cleric? This does, uh, this is also a cleric. Hmm, maybe? Has death touch as long as you control another rogue? What's the party consist of? Cleric, rogue, warrior, wizard. We're going to take the land. This would be really good if it had flash. Uh, I regret taking the land. Hmm. 
Deals damage to that creature equal to twice the number of creatures in your party. So it deals two damage just with one? Okay. This is a wizard, right? Yeah. Draw a card. Or not. Try to then draw a card. This isn't that's a pretty good card. This is this is really good. It's a mouse, what? Creatures you control get plus one plus one? Holy moly. Deals damage equal to the number of creatures you control to target creature or planeswalker. Wow. This is pretty good too. I don't know. This this mouse is really good. Creatures are really val valuable in draft, but removal in your color is pretty. I think white is pretty open. I do kind of regret taking this land early on. This is a 2-3 during your turn. All right, enters the battlefield. Target creature gets plus one plus one for each creature in your party. That's pretty good for a four drop. Um, pick eight. Have not back yet. Tide sail. Give something flying. This is a warrior, so this is. White is like just completely open right now. Yeah, could definitely pivot. Pivot. I don't hate this. Am I? Pivot. Oh, is this in here? What do we what do we open? Alakut exploration. Pivot. 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 That's 
too expensive. I think we're going to take another removal spell. So BB Live it, how's that? How's that pizza? Is it good? Have you have you torn into it yet? Why haven't I gotten any pictures on Discord? Allied Assault seems pretty good. Oh, this seems really good. This is a pretty good combat trick, though. Yeah, Bobbers, you just missed it. Earlier, BB Livid was like, order me a pizza, and I was like, all right. So I did. Oh, we're definitely going to take that. Now, Domino's is disgusting. There's no reason to go into red yet. I haven't really seen anything that we want to take. If we're taking that or playing that. Oh, don't get me wrong. If I see a good any other color card, I'm going to take it. But we're we could take that. Let's see. This seems insane. But I don't think there's... I think we'd have to go into blue, which I'm fine with. Um, but we would have to get a blue rogue. Or... Yeah, I have party creatures. I have warrior. Um, cleric. I had a rogue that I just put away. Yeah, we're just gonna, gonna take more removal and, and regret it. One damage. Ah, I wish I would have taken it now. Gain three life and draw three cards. Could have cost two mana. You think Domino's is better than Pizza Hut? No, man. You are absolutely wrong in so many ways. And <laughs> I have a party. I got a cleric and a warrior. And this rogue over here. I thought I took a wizard earlier. I saw a wizard. You just, you must just have a bad Pizza Hut in your area. Got two of these already. I could get three. Everyone has a bad pizza in their area. Uh, that's funny. Yep. 
Easy's Pizza Buffet? Oh my god. Now I know you guys are just trolling. Easy's might be some of the worst pizza available. <laughs> Tardis, uh, thanks for thanks for stopping by. This came back. I mean, we don't have that many creatures. You like your milk extra chunky? Who doesn't? What does this do? Seems bad. Seems bad. This deck seems bad. That hound might might make the cut. Hey, it's a goblin rogue. We need creatures. What is it? What is it? We're taking it. Oh, hell yeah, we're taking this. This is like the exact same pack. Yeah, white has been just completely open. A lot of people might try, be trying to be uh, forcing rogues. Apparently that's like the super popular thing right now. What does this do? Are we gonna, are we gonna do this? Maybe we go into black just for that? I'm gonna take it. 5-4 that gets indestructible for a... Oh, that's crazy. Look at that. Regain life, each opponent loses a life. So I, might, I think we might actually be going into black. Oh, what is this? It's a mythic in our colors. We're probably going to take it. This card just does all the things. Yeah, Lotus Cobra being that late is pretty crazy because that is probably one of the best accelerants you can get. I think we're going to take the one draw.
I don't know, maybe we take this. Yep, I think we're taking I think I think we are playing ores off. We could have we could have forced mono white, and I, I feel like we could still play mono white. We have some equipment we can play. God, we don't have many creatures. Yep. Yeah. Needs a wizard. We saw a wizard. Second pick, bad land <clears throat> into a color we're not even going. It sucks. Feels bad. Could go Mardu. These lawn people are back. It's been, it's been, what, five, six hours? That's a pretty good last pick. Maybe we cut a five drop. No, we're running it. We're doing it. We're doing it, chat. We're just gonna, we're just going. Oh, butter. How about how about no? How about <laughs> no mono red Yorian? You're ridiculous with that every time, every time. But it's great though. I, I love that you're. I love that you're so uh, persistent with that. This is not a great hand. Yeah, I'm pretty close to 4,900. I'm hoping that we, I th I'm hoping that we blow up a little bit more at 5,000, because that's what happened at 1,000. We jumped from 1,000 to 2,000 in like two, three days. Oh yeah, am I? Am I throwing a pool party? The hell is this thing? Huh. It's pretty good. What sucks is we have all of these. We have all of these creatures in our deck, but we're not drawing any. Yeah, you can sack that if you want. Oh, you can't now because it's enchanted. But all right. I'm gonna regret this. Block just in case. <clears throat> How many do I?
Seems all right. Two mana six six is really good, right? Two mana six six is really good. Hey, remember what remember when we were playing when we drafted like pretty much mono white and now we have all black creatures in play? Uh, I'm not falling for your tricks. Yeah, rogues are super good in this set. Good game, my friend. Good game. Well, 1 and 0. Oh. Seems pretty good. Oh. Living the dream, guys. Ranking up. Ranking up. Look at your Hellfire and Discord. Ooh, X equals 30. That's pretty good. This guy's name's The Nerdy Steve. That's a great name. X equals 30. I mean, you're going to win anyway because you have Ulamog in play. What does this do? Hold on. It can't block. It can't block. Uh, landfall. Oh, you can cast it from your graveyard? That seems pretty good. <laughs> that's like that was the guy's name that's pretty that's pretty funny um no blocks I don't know if they uh, included the new emotes. I actually haven't checked. <laughs> A word. We have an ox, cleric, a griffin.
He was pretty good. And they're just taking it. It is for 12. You just Godzilla laser. All right, let me read this. Hold on. No blocks. All right, butter gun. Thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by. Need a land. That's not a land. No attacks. They've actually stabilized pretty well over there. We're still looking for a land. I'd be very surprised if they waste a kill spell on our Colossus. Because the creature they need to kill is the Fledgling or the Ox. Pretty good. That was pretty good. Just draw a land here. I mean, at what point are we supposed to block, right? Got Death Touch. I mean, we're going to be replacing this with a bigger creature, so. They get to sack. Oh, that actually made, made it smaller. Oh, five out of seven, the perfect score. It sure is. Oh, man, that meme. That's an old meme that we have not seen in a while. It's a great meme, though.
Five out of seven is the meme. Five out of seven is a perfect score. <laughs> yep, stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Just need a land, right? All we were waiting on. Is that it? Could have a removal spell. Nope. Yep, that is the game. Ooh. Oh man, still living the dream. Ranking up. Recognize good memes. Do a real like beginning of game hydrate like we normally do. I really want to chew a piece of gum, but at the same time, I don't want to smack into the microphone and Play Mobia. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I didn't even realize that this was a land. I can't keep that, unfortunately. All right, what are we putting back? Who's going first? Are we going? No, yep, we're going first. Let's draw a land. Opponent mulligan to five. Holy moly. Bring it. They have to bounce a land, right? I was about to say you, you can't attack anymore. You've you've pretty much done it. <laughs> like I don't I don't know why. I mean, yeah, you're playing a landfall deck, but. I really want to play this as a land, but I don't at the same time. I can't believe he attacked with the, uh, the beast on turn one.
Oh well, 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 well. We're fine with this, right? Cleric Rogue. This hits for four. Pretty good. What do you do though? Sorry, my friend. It says menace. Is it a, is it okay though to attack with that two two on turn one? That's pretty good. And we finally drew our... Yeah, you definitely want to attack on turn two if you're playing the land, an aggressive landfall deck. But turn one, no. We're just slowly getting in there. Okay. Something gains indestructible. Okie doke. I mean, they are full on aggro, aggro. Yep, you've already seen this guy. Aww. You're doing that just so you can get in for three more? Doesn't seem... Because if you attack here with both your guys, you lose. Oh, 
All right. Easy game. Easy game. Yeah, the deck is uh, playing pretty well. Mr. Metronome. Play this out as a zero zero. Okay, interesting. They just gonna draft a whole bunch of those. I kind of fully expected that. So this costs seven mana to kick it. Sure. Just so you could draw a card and get in one point of damage. All right. All right. Could play this as a 2 2, but I think we're going to wait. Let him get in a little bit of damage. Ooh, you're going to go draft two. All right, Jiminy. See you later as well. Thanks for stopping by. That was a great draw. Four, seven, ten.
11, 12. I mean, if they, for whatever reason, decide to attack us, it's just going to make our scourge bigger. All right, Mr. Metronome, good game. Doing that ranking up. That's the thing about these events, though, is everybody's in bronze tier. And nobody's really drafted this set before, so. Mordor. I do like this two into this three. Yeah, this is a draft. No, our opponent's in silver. So, swamp into island? No, oh, no, they're doing the same thing we're doing. blocks Pretty good, pretty good. I'm going to bait him into this. They are stuck on land, so there is that.
Oh, and they scoop. Scoops my goops. All right. Yeah, <laughs> you thought this was a jank build? Yeah, no. It is. It is one hundred percent a draft. Oh yeah. So anyway, earlier I was getting into something. Um, I have this book here, and anytime I anytime I reference the phrase, that's what they used to call me in high school. I uh, I write down what that is. So earlier we had the angry microwave so that got written down. Um, this is an all right hand. Not great. Definitely want to start draw, draw a planes. Wait, what just happened? Tradesies? Nope. No trades. Our deck has a lot of good synergies in it. Oh, and they lose life. Come on, deck planes. One time. Thank you. Yep, yep. Got that one one. Need to draw a cleric. I don't like being out of cards. Attack takes two. Not worth it. Not worth it. They're definitely using their life as a resource. Need a bomb here. Need a bomb. That's like a bomb, right? Want to draw our mythic? If we draw our mythic, we can actually use it. We have enough mana. 
Got him. Okay. Ooh, that was a this is a good hit. Maybe we draw another ox next turn. Ooh, okay. Drawing them bombs. We're at a standstill. Would love to draw removal. Oh. Oh, they have a full party. Cleric, warrior, wizard. Oh. Okay, I'm good with that. On each creature you control. Sure. Oh. Look at that draw. That is the game right there. We get to tap two things. Exaxes. Good game. Good game. Whew. Oh, man, that draw. That draw felt good. What are you guys thinking about this deck? Oh, the bot said stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. That was a sick draw. Wow. That ox. I was fine though with you know with letting them get in and just pumping our guy to a giant that was at a, at that point at two mana twelve twelve. Super super good. All right. Mountain man magic. Also, so we need to draw land. This is actually a pretty decent hand if we draw land.
Yep, that is a cleric, my friend. Let's draw planes. Let's just draw planes here. Aw. Aw. That's flash, right? they actually have a fight spell here i don't know what fight spells these are just this is a bite oh well, hold on what is this scry two then draw two okay That's so good for three mana. Three mana, four, six. What is this? Enters the battlefield with a plus one for each mana spent to cast it, so it's a Hydroid Crisis. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I remember seeing this. Cast kick spells, start copying kick spells. Copying kick spells is pretty busted. Ah, so what do we do here? Let's just do it. Easy game. Easy game, guys. And that is how you 7-0 and a draft in the new set. Just ran the gauntlet. Ran the gauntlet. Oh, man. What do you guys think about this deck? This deck is crazy. Look at this. Let's go over this, actually. So, so we had two practice tactics. This card is actually pretty good. So it deals, deals damage to that creature to twice the number of creatures in your party. So for having one creature in your party, this deals two damage. Um, this art, this Archpriest of Iona is not the greatest creature, but it is a one drop. So I did like this. Hey, Giancarlo, you actually just missed it. We just finished our uh, draft run. We just went seven and zero in this draft. So I'm just kind of going over all of the cards. So this was our first pick of the whole draft, and this actually kind of molded how we went. We we did kind of stutter by first picking this Arch, and then second picking this land um and we actually probably should have played that land um in our deck because there was no reason not to but this is pretty good um these healers were really good healer these healers are good having lifelink with another cleric this fledgling was really good really ridiculous growing every turn this takedown was pretty good um this scourge of the skyclaves this this scourge right here is crazy. This did so much work. Two it was like a two mana twelve twelve at one point. Um six six seven seven. 
And this cleric was really good. So dropping this cleric on turn two and then on turn three, playing this angel heart protector, as it's a cleric, so we gain a life. It, it, this becomes a three, three. Then we give it indestructible and then we can get in for three. Really good. This allied assault, ass allied assault we saw this win at the end of our last game, like really, really quick. It gave two creatures plus three, plus three. Um, Celebrant did some work. It's a one, four, gained us some life. These bindings were really good. Um, this Skyclave Apparition, we only drew once, but it was, I mean, it got rid of card, so it was really good. Uh, which card uh, were you is, are you saying that's really OP? This Black Bloom, Black Bloom Rogue was, it was all right. It, it did one game, it did actually get in for like eight damage, so. And then this Nimana Sky Dancer is pretty good as a flash redrop. This was all right, this Outrider. I don't even know if we actually ever cast it. These Oxes won us a game. Oh, we got the host. Thank you so much, Gian Giancarlo. I appreciate it. And then this Tazri, this last game, was the only game we cast it. But we cast it for three mana. And we were stuck on three land. We drew it on turn four, played it for three, and then we won the following turn. So really, really cool. And this Dreadworm was, it was all right. I mean, it's a good five drop. And then the Seagate Colossus was, it, it, it saw play like two or three games. It, I wouldn't say it necessarily won us any of those games, but it definitely helped win us some games and 17 land so overall i mean this is pretty good we had 17 creatures and i'm super i'm super happy with this so yeah seven and oh pretty pretty sick all right everyone i uh, really hope you enjoyed the uh the deck as you can see we went seven and oh we had a great a great deck we had really good draws um our deck just stayed on tempo pretty much in all of our games and fortunately it just came together for us going going seven and oh so again if you enjoy the video please hit that subscribe button and really what i'd like to know is in the comments down below if you enjoy this content if you want to see limited um we can definitely add some limited to the agenda and get maybe a limited deck or a limited event out once a week or something like that just depending on what everybody likes i want to do as much uh variety as i can just to give people um, the opportunity to potentially see other play styles or formats uh, or you know provide any kind of learning opportunities and learning areas uh, that we can for some of the newer players so please let me know down in the comments below that you made it to the end of the video and what you want to see in a future video so with that being said please stay safe we will see you next time Remember, this channel would not exist without such amazing viewers and subscribers. Thank you so much for interacting with the channel and helping grow the community. And a very big special thank you to the Patreons listed here for supporting the channel.